The IB continues the heritage of St. Tim's in many ways in scholarship, uh, thoughtful analysis, being able to articulate your ideas and your understanding material well, also being able to write effectively and conducting good research. So those were hallmarks of a St. Tim's education long before I came, and, and they will continue to be so. The ninth and 10th grade curriculum for the threes and fours is geared to prepare them for the IB, which launches itself in the last two years of high school in the junior and senior years. Um, what IB does more than anything else is it gives you a whole way of looking at knowledge, at learning, at experiencing, experiencing the world. And the magic of it, the power of it is that it's a great, it's in depth. And so in history, for example, the girls will study 20th century history for two years. This is very different than a typical high school survey where teachers at a conference that I attended a year or so ago said, oh yeah, we covered World War I in a week. And they were proud of it. And I'm thinking, oh no, we, we spend weeks on World War I. We do, we do Harkness discussions. We look at source analysis. We analyze political cartoons. We study this in depth. Um, what, from the, the, the causes of the war to the actual war itself, the phases, how World War I was, the first example, of a total war and its impact on the home front, say, in Britain and in Italy and in Germany and Russia. Uh, they know this. The coming together, this really rich mosaic of, of students and faculty, really makes St. Tim's an ideal place to teach the IB. You have faculty from all over the world a number of whom have already had experience teaching IB and they bring their world experience to us. But we have students from all over the world and it is that at that intersection of these different perspectives. Um, you do not have to be the brightest person around to excel in IB. Uh, it teaches you a way of thinking and, and hones your skills. So, And these are skills you're going to need to have any way to compete successfully at the university level. Uh, I've seen enough times now students who were deer in the headlights when they came as a ninth grader and uncertain, unwilling to talk very much, and they shine. By the senior year, they're standing up, they're taking pride in the work, they've succeeded, um, they're meeting the expectations and more, and they've done more than they ever thought they could. If you are an, a student who's willing to work hard, be organized, and you want to learn, you can do IB. You can be very successful in IB. Um, what I see happening is it hones their thinking and writing skills in an extraordinarily focused way. When they finish IB in their junior and senior years, they will be able to take anything that a college can throw at them. Uh, they can write, they can think, they can analyze, they can sort out primary and secondary sources in a scholarly way. Uh, they can analyze these sources for uh, the value of them as an historian or the limitations that they might have to an historian. Uh, this is really sophisticated learning uh, done in our small classes. Uh, the whole school, all the juniors and seniors are part of this, so there's sort of an esprit de corps that goes with it. Um, they take pride in their achievements, and they should. This is a remarkable achievement when they finish the IB program. All the, the colleges recognize this as a rigorous, a thoroughly vetted and supported program. It's recognized worldwide.